Russian forces assigned to Western Military District Railway Troops have commissioned a special train to conduct special military operations within Ukraine. The train, a resurrection of past Soviet armoured trains from the Cold War era, is seen with two CHME 3 six axle diesel electric locomotives. Each have had lines of heavy metal panels installed to protect both sides of the main body of the locomotive against enemy fire. A railway flatbed rail car is installed with a ZU-23-2 23mm anti-aircraft twin auto cannon. An all-metal armoured shelter sits behind the anti-aircraft gun for Russian soldiers to take cover when under fire. The armoured shelter containing open slots referred to as loopholes allows Russian troops to fire Klasnikov rifles and sniper rifles as an attacking force while keeping relatively protected against small arms fire. According to the Russian Defence Ministry, the special train is designed for technical reconnaissance, mine clearance and the restoration of the railway track. The armoured train is also to be used to guarantee the security of trains carrying different types of cargo, personnel and equipment. If required, the train can also serve as a reliable cover for trains carrying civilians. The train is filmed stopping on several occasions with Russian troops deploying mine detectors to check their bridges and railway tracks. Russia's railways are playing a crucial role to supplying its invasion of Ukraine, but unconfirmed reports of saboteurs attacking the rail network, some said to be inside Russia itself, it's highly likely therefore this armoured train was hastily deployed to patrol key stretches of the supply line while also delivering critical supplies. The armoured train's sudden appearance perhaps confirmation of disruptive attacks on railway infrastructure and the urgent need to protect the ever-decreasing railway supply routes that are still under the control of Russian forces in Ukraine. In the meantime, Ukrainian forces continue to push forward, gain lost territory and literally seizing back their railways.